Hello and welcome to weather. Unfortunately, the coastal conditions will remain hazardous for the next few days. A yellow level hazardous seas alert now extends until Friday 2 p.m. So exercise caution if you're fishing, sea bathing or mooring your boats near shore. And that will continue through Thursday and Friday. We've been seeing a battering waves up to three meters are continuing along those northern and northeastern exposed coastlines of Trinidad and Tobago. And we also that's because of those are northerly long period swells every 12 to 13 seconds. And that will continue for the next few days. Now, today's uh, satellite imagery still shows the fair and hazy conditions across the southern windwards. Just towards the north, there is a shear line, some confluence of some winds. That's we're bringing some showers towards uh, the northern parts of the windwards. Meanwhile, to the north, we have a passing front, which is going to the northeast of the Caribbean, which could, as it drifts slowly towards the uh, southeast, could disrupt our conditions here, maybe bringing us occasional showers. But no significant rainfall is expected across uh, the uh, Leeward Islands or the windwards as we go through the next uh, few days. But for us, we could still still see one to moderate or heavy showers mainly developing over the hilly areas. It's also been quite breezy. You've noticed the windy conditions, especially across uh, the northern range. That's because of the pressure difference between the high Atlantic as well as the lower pressures near Colombia. It's actually quite windy out towards the Colombian coastline there. But for us, we'll continue to see those windy, gusty conditions because those mid-level moderate winds can at times reach the surface where we are. Now, today's satellite imagery still shows some haze as well as some shallow cloud drifting on those uh, generally easterly winds across Trinidad and Tobago. That will bring intermittent bands of cloudiness from time to time. But you notice that the visibility has uh, still been reduced uh, during the day. Looking at uh, eight kilometers currently, it did dip to about six kilometers as we went through today. And that's all because of that uh, Saharan dust. The Saharan haze, as you can see here, fluctuating between light and mid-orange. That will continue at least for the next few days. But we could see some relief by by the time we get to late Friday, you'll notice some thinner concentrations expected as you go into the weekend. So looking now at the uh, current conditions, currently we're looking at temperatures of 29 degrees Celsius at Piarco, as well as in uh, Scarborough. I'm looking at similar fair conditions expected uh, through tonight and into tomorrow. 26 degrees Celsius will be tonight's low under patches of clouds at time across Crown Point. And uh, for Trinidad, looking for a high of uh, 25 degrees Celsius under some hazy conditions as well. Now, as we start our Thursday, we're still looking at hazy, breezy conditions for the most part. One or two brief showers are likely, mainly across the hillsides. So noticing eastern areas of Tobago around the main ridge and similarly for Trinidad we could also see one or two of those out passing showers thus encroaching along the east coast of Trinidad maybe getting up towards Arima and Sandy Grande. Now what does it look like for the next uh, few days through Friday still continue to be hazy breezy at times still one or two brief showers coming through but no significant rainfall is likely and then once we get into Saturday and Sunday we'll see the haze concentrations minimizing, minimizing so we should be seeing some brighter skies as we get into the weekend with less haze around around through the weekend. Now, as we head towards the shores, we've been talking about the hazardous seas alert, which continues for the next few days. So expect uh, conditions to be moderate, occasionally choppy, especially along those near shore areas. Waves up to two meters offshore. Near shore looking at one meter, but it could again turn choppy because of those uh, battering waves. And if you are heading offshore, looking at your high tides, one is at 8.11 a.m., next one at 8.57 p.m. And if you're in Scarborough, it's at 7.42 a.m. and then 8.38 p.m. So as we go, just a reminder that we have hazardous seas alert which continues on until Friday and we also have a bit of Saharan dust in there as well so if you're sensitive to the dust do take those precautions.